Well, I guess this video is for Matt as well. Um, I knew how popular unboxing videos were on YouTube, but I guess it didn't occur to me that would apply for me as well. And I'm astonished that anybody found my unbagging video. So, um, this is an unboxing video. Uh, for the last 10 years or so, I've been carrying a Toomey Brief backpack, an older generation, and have been pretty happy with that. And um, despite the fact that it's a horrendously expensive backpack, it is a really good backpack. It's now getting kind of long in the tooth and it was it's time to think about replacing it. And so rather than replacing it with the most similar model, instead I ordered a, uh, a Tumi Alpha Bravo. So I want to be really careful opening this up because it's fabric inside and this is a sharp knife. But this is a Tumi Alpha Bravo. And I was able to get um, for Tumi quite a good price on it. There, bags tend to be awfully expensive, um, even for the quality, but they are really good. So, uh, this, as you can see, is in a proper box. There's a bag in the box. I think I got the price because the color was relatively unpopular, but this is an Alpha Bravo. And it's a pretty similar bag to the to the brief backpack that I have been carrying. And what's interesting about this backpack is that it has a roll top on it. Um, and I have no idea how to open the latch. It has a metal flap on it and you pull up on it. So you pull on that little tab and it disconnects. And that's pretty interesting because it's really sturdily locked in there. It's a very clever latching mechanism. And then there is a roll top with a zipper that starts down at the bottom, goes up in an L shape. It doesn't zip all the way around. It just opens up this big L packed with plastic air. And just a little bit of fab, a little bit of paper, I guess, for good measure. Um, there's a color cup, cup, there are a couple of pockets in color contrasting fabric on the inside. Uh, other than that, the inside of this is, is just one big volume. The flap itself has a zipper compartment, again with that contrasting color inside of it. This is a pretty cool looking bag. And then there is um, a flap here which goes into a second compartment. This is completely separate from the interior compartment. It is not padded between the interior and the exterior, but there does seem to be some padding between the actual outside and that compartment. So that would certainly hold a um, tablet in there. There's also a little pocket on the front, more paper in it. looks like you can have business cards, a pen, um, there's probably a, yes, there's a lanyard to hold a key, there is a um, zebra code in there, which it might be in my best interest to blur out in the video, a pocket on the side, which has a separate little compartment in there, so that would hold your phone or another small object, and than a pocket which is probably intended for a water bottle um, and in fact has drainage on the bottom so that's definitely intended for a water bottle. Then if I reconnect this and you look at the back of it there is a pouch here which I believe is sized with the intention that it hold a cell phone cell phone does indeed fit. I mean, that would hold a really big cell phone. Um, and then a zipper compartment to hold a computer. There are actually two 
compartments here. There's a sleeve here, which is padded both with respect to your back um, and then has padding going towards the inside as well. There is a contrasting color um, pocket here, and this is also padded. So there's padding here and there's padding here. And then there is a big volume there. So this is not padded between the main compartment and this, but, but there's a big space there available. And then I was aware of this before I ordered this. There's another zipper compartment here, or another zipper flap, which interestingly enough goes into the main compartment. So you can access the main compartment either by going in through the flap on the top of the backpack or um, going in through that flap on the back. You don't have to go into this big, into this big um, L-shaped opening in order to access the main compartment. There is also a um, sleeve which can allow this to be held in place on a wheelie um, and there are these um, straps associated or these these tabs associated with the shoulder straps. I can't honestly say I've ever found those of any particular use but I think you could put a sternum strap onto these and as is often the case with Toomey it's comes with a few, um, like there is a ID tag holder. Uh, I don't think there are any additional little pouches included in here. Um, and so that, I think, is all of this bag. I've said before that I will do a little bit more of an interpretive video once I've had a chance to really look at these, but that's my first impression of the Alpha Bravo.